Today's adventure brings me to Six Flags Magic Mountain where Holidays in the Park is underway. It started on November 23rd. As the recording of this is Friday, December 1st. A little Christmas time in SoCal. Six Flags style, Magic Mountain. Parking lot filling up here and it is difficult to see this area without thinking of National Lampoon's vacation, the kosher, which has been remodeled, where the Griswolds dropped in. There's some guests there about to drop in. There they go. I always like events at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Their Fright Fest event is fun, as well as holidays in the park. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It is windy. Daphne is here as well. Oh, no. It is gusty Very up gusty. here at Magic Mountain. Someone's dropping in. We're gonna see some lights, yeah. have some food, and enjoy the holidays. Holidays? In the park. In the park, <laughs> in the windy park. Goodness gracious. It is gusty out here. I'm inviting you to join me and Daphne. Shall you? With the wind, it certainly feels colder than 61 degrees. This is wild. Sunset is at 4.44 p.m. It's 2 o'clock right now. The event goes till 7. Take a look at Santa and the elves riding the coaster over here. Look at that. Maybe I'll meet Santa. Maybe I'll meet some elves. Now, it doesn't seem to be too terribly busy today. The entryway here, not a whole heck of a lot of people going in. Would imagine it being a Friday. They took out all those ticket booths. Oh, there's ticket there booths. There was here? four, and now there's only two. Look there's at this. Used to be three more ticket booths. You can see the poles where they used to be right here. Sure could. Yeah, you're right. I knew it looked a little different. It looks so much more open. All right, for me, sixty dollars to get in. Now Daphne has a season pass, so she gets in with that. One of these days, I'm gonna probably renew my season pass here. But for me. It was like $60 and change. Through the turnstiles, I go. They got, this, they got the candy canes up over here. Look at this. Yeah, the last time I was here was for opening night of Fright Fest. Which one thing, I would, just to bring up Fright Fest one last time while we're walking in here, they didn't have like the gargoyles here last Fright Fest, but now they have candy canes. No gargoyles during Fright Fest, but they do have candy canes. <laughs> also speaking of National Lampoon's vacation, there was a scene right over here where they, uh, they have the security guard roll around on the ground like a dog. Got some oversized little ornaments here. Six Flags Holiday in the Park. And it looks like this elf, or no, it's not an elf, it's just like a, a person on a snowboard or a sled has embedded himself into the ice. Park hours today are till seven. I asked when I bought the ticket. Originally she said it was six and then she rechecked at seven. But on the weekends, so today's Friday, but starting tomorrow, this is open till nine. Yeah. Get extra holiday time in. Extra holidays on the weekends, but today open till seven, which if the sun goes down at five, it's two hours of light good light yeah. filled goodness. And they do do the lights incredible here. Like there's like a bajillion lights everywhere. I One year, years park. ago, we saw when it was only a drive we drove through here. Yeah, we drove through car. the park. That was so crazy. Yeah, that was when you that was when in California a lot of the places weren't open. So we, we rode through in the in the vehicle. There's like one area, we'll probably walk through it later, but it always reminds me we drove through it so we drove under the log ride and that yeah. was just so oh, wild. The way the water drips down. Yeah, that was crazy. Tonight we're gonna walk underneath that though. No Ooh. driving. Walk through. We're gonna walk through it. And they got the little toy soldiers over here. Take a look at this. The ornaments. Look how windy it is. Look at all the flags up there waving dramatically. They sell churros here too. No one at the churros. Have you ever had a churro from Six Flags? Yesterday, you had your first Disneyland churro. I had, but I think, that, yeah, that was one of my first churros. I'm going to say that Disneyland churros are probably better than Six Flags churros, but I don't know. I guess I don't know until I try one, but I'm not going to try one. <laughs> to be, to, to be, to be determined. Out. To be found out. Look how happy this little soldier is. Who's a soldier <laughs> right here? He is in the holiday festive mood. That is great. Look at that. Good size ornaments here. Now they do have a stage set up here. It looks like maybe an area for DJs. However, I know a lot of times the Southern California parks 
if it's not a Saturday or Sunday, they don't go all in on the holiday stuff. So maybe later, we'll check back later, see if the DJ is going to be here. Or it looks like they may even have some carolers. I don't know. But either way, there's like a gingerbread, right? This is a gingerbread tree. This is an oversized present right here. Look at this. It's almost as tall as me. <laughs> it kind of is. Look at this. It's almost like an animated type of bow. It's like something out of like a cartoon, right? It is. It's all like 3D kind of eye. Yeah. It's so cute. And obviously, we'll see some of this stuff illuminated here in a little bit. But you got the regular size ornaments. You got the star on the tree here. And you can see a reflection right here. Oh, oh, oh. Six flag representation. I love how there's like. Oh, there's six flags. And then no. And then, but there's ornaments down there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a. They just were like, we ran out of ornaments. <laughs> six flags. Am I right? Two holidays collide. There's still some Fright Fest stuff back there. Not open, but they have the truth or dare. The vault 666 stuff is all set up. Oh, yeah, I'm in the mood for some tasty, savory treats here. Cranberry BBQ wings. They have beignets. They also have loaded, look at this, loaded potato fries with little marshmallows. Oh, sweet potato fries. I definitely want to get some food. Sweet, oh, look at this, sweet cream treats pretzel. I think I might start off with that because we can walk with that. Ooh, Should I get a wings? I think these you can only eat inside the restaurant. I can't. This is sit -down I, service. I can't walk with the pretzel. I don't. Well, this is sit down service. I'm not sure. Just keep walking. <laughs> now I am looking for some holiday merch, of course, because it's probably not going to be the busiest of nights because it's not quite into the full weekend. They have the holiday merch in the regular shop, so the little stand is not full. Now, one thing Six Flags Magic Mountain holidays is known for is the s'mores. They're known for their s'mores. <laughs> So I'm gonna do some s'mores a little bit. This is like the Smurf font. All right, it's a good thing I saw this sign. So only Friday through Sunday is when Holidays in the Park is happening. So we're here at the right day and take a look. Here is jolly old Saint Nick himself, Santa Claus. Roll. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. <laughs> Happy Holidays. He's got, I guess, I think that was the real Santa Claus. Yeah, that was an LA Santa, the most fit Santa and <laughs> slender Santa I've ever seen. He has been and working youngest. hard. youngest. Yeah, he was fit Santa. Yeah, what's the DCA? There's a there's a there's uh, hot Santa. There's a sexy hot Santa too as well. Maybe that's maybe that's him. He's here sometimes. He's here sometimes too. at DCA. Man, LA just has good looking Santa. <laughs> this is his workshop right over here. You also got the North. Oh wait, there's a train. There's a North Pole Train Express right here, right over at the base of the. Goliath. Which ride is this here? Goliath. Goliath. If you go down, you can see Mrs. Claus is over here. Mrs. Claus is having like a, a crafts fair going on as well. And uh, there's an elf over here next to Mrs. Claus as well. A couple people at the crafts fair, but not too many. They also have a happy Hanukkah little section here as well. And then they got the Christmas tree over here at the DC Universe. I will always remember when they did the drive-through a few years ago, this was all lit up and this was swinging. All right, got Mrs. Claus homemade sweets over here at this stand. And then you got another stand over here that has some s'mores as well. So lots of savory and sweet treats. Well, there's no one at the s'more. There's no one at this one. It's officially so windy out here that Wonder Woman, the new coaster, is not open. We're going to go in the dark ride here. Hall of Justice right over here. This dark ride. The battle for Metropolis. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at Cyborg right here. There is not a soul in here. Look at this. No one in line. Oh, that's the Joker right now. Oh, heads up. Oh, oh heads up. What's she laughing, gas? You got considerably a better score than I did. This is your score right here. This is my score right there. I'm good at one You're ride and it's this ride. <laughs> All right, found one of the gift shops that have some of the merchandise, which is kind of neat. They uh, this, this assortment of t-shirts and you know hoodies and things like that. Kind of nice little assortment of like themed Christmas stuff, not necessarily Six Flags, you know, kind of novelty tees, but then also specific holidays in the park shirts for Six Flags as well and and sweatshirts and things like that. So I'll check on the way out, see if there's anything in the main one, but I found one little little stand that has some stuff in it. Now take a look at this, this holiday lemonade, simply lemonade with cranberry and cinnamon. Comes in a little ornament right there. Oh, that's served cute. in a lighted cup. It's kind of chilly out here though, so I don't know if I want lemonade, but yeah. These are the Christmas holiday, look almost like meatballs, but they are, in, what are these exactly? They're oh, wings, but chicken I, I wings. don't like the bone ends, I got, got bone, boneless. You got the boneless, so they almost could look like little, almost like little like chicken nuggets, kind of, sort of. And you got the, the little veggies on the side. 
got the celery and you got the carrots. And I also ended up ordering, this is like for both of us, we're gonna share this, but I also got us a pretzel that has the cream cheese in it. Mm. Which I guess that I guess that would be like a holiday thing. Yeah, I think they're good. I've only had the cream cheese pretzel at Disneyland. So it's nice right here. Yeah. These look pretty good though. Yeah, but these are bone out. Bone out. Gonna go in on a little ranch dipping sauce here as well. We got the uh, little BBQ action on there. Pretty good, I tried one. The pretzel has arrived. The cream cheese that is down in there. It just kind of like shows the size of the pretzel here next to my <laughs> sunglasses right there. It took a little while, they made it fresh. It did take quite a bit. We've already finished up all the other food when this arrived, but it's, it's, a, it's a fresh pretzel full of cream cheese in the middle of that. If you look down in there, you can see the cream cheese kind of oozing in there. It's pretty good. You also see the cream cheese kind of wedged down in there, but more prominently over on this side here. It is very, very toasty, very, very, very fresh. I'm not sure what is on top of here. I guess it's just like pretzel. Maybe it's like graham crumb or something? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, gonna go walk around a little bit now. The Santa is on top of the tree, and this little convert cash to a prepaid card is on top of a tree. It has a little Santa cap on as well. We have walked over to West Coast Racers for our first time going on this coaster, kind of one of the newer rides out here. Not too long of a wait, so we're gonna do this, and by the time we get done with it, also, same kind of fan they had the Indiana Jones stunt show. I'm gonna be able to film on this. Gotta secure small items in a zipper bag once I'm seated. The way it looks is both are on the same track, and then they split off side by side. The blue is gonna race the red. The blue starts off first. Oh, uh, no, no, they're racing the yellow. Okay. So there's a yellow one right here, and there's a red one right here. All right, just rode it. It's pretty awesome. A little disorienting, but not too extreme of a ride. West Coast Racers, we did it. That was fun. We did it. That's so exciting. It was a little brisk. A little brisk. But that was fun. We've been wanting to do that one for a while. <laughs> yeah, I've been so excited to go on it with you and finally have it. Now from here, gonna end up well, waiting for the sun to kind of set, which should be setting in about 10 minutes, and gotta make our way up the side of the mountain where all the lights really are. And I'm thinking before heading up there, I might end up getting a piping hot non-caffeinated beverage in the form of a hot cocoa or hot chocolate. So I think we're gonna do that. All right, they're making a no smoking announcement. Also, the hot chocolate sign that was up there, the store do not sell hot chocolate tonight. So we're gonna walk this way and go back and get hot chocolate down this way over back by the DC area that we were at before. We're gonna get a little little warmth going before heading to see the lights. Accomplished the mission here. Not really sure where the refill stations are. Hopefully there are some more as we journey kind of up. But the lights are now officially switched on at what, 5 p.m. is it? I think it's like 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Lights. All right. All right, now I'm gonna start making our way up the side of the hill. The tree is lit up. And you have racers going by right there. And again, here are the trees all illuminated. Yep, a few years ago, I had to drive up there. So I was able to drive my rental car <laughs> up in the park. Well, I have, it was a one and done kind of thing. Oh yeah, LA during those times, interesting. And they also have the little holiday lights here on these trees as well. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite areas through here with like the candy cane type trees. They're very kind of top of the, the mountain. Well, I, I kind of look at it as the top of the mountain with a little area up here with the food and the treats, and all that and the peppermint looking trees. And this area up here always reminds me of True Romance where right after Bronson, Bronson Pinchot had a little bit of a disgusting uh, regurgitation on the roller coaster. He was sitting over here in this area. Just a little fun movie twist in there. And there is a reindeer made out of foliage. And there's a really oversized snowflake right there. There's a stage right here. There's no one performing on it. And there probably won't because it's a little after five right now and this event ends at seven. But right, yeah, right over there. So True Romance right, so it was, was right over there. Last time we were up here, I was up here, was during Fright Fest and we ate right over there. We ate some like hot sriracha. Oh, it looks like, look at the top of the trees up there. It's like they had like silly string up in the trees. Look at that right there. It's like a little like spray silly string in the trees, illuminated. And the wind's kind of blowing around up there. Yeah, you can hear the coasters going off in the distance while starting to ascend 
off in the distance and then over here appears to be well you got the descent heading down but then there is a little a little ferry over a little holiday ferry standing over here with the wings and the there's a little uh, magic wand of sorts over here as well hello happy holidays to you too thank you yeah i think this is my favorite area this little descent oh look here's a couple more little reindeer here with their holiday bows on as well yeah and then the little the little, little holiday fairy over there just waving up oh, doing a little spin around <laughs> there is a coaster going up here also as we walk through this direction there was snow everywhere down there towards the end snow overload and one little cusp not the whole area just one little 10 foot section the snow was just completely prominent and raining down upon our heads in the little cusp of the corner of the candy cane tree lane snow i, I just love some snow you know florida has snow Cal, southern california has snow even though it does snow in southern california kind of up in the mountains it's not snowing here today it's not real snow it is snow here on the little candy cane tree area <laughs> All right, this area through here has some, oh, there's even like some little like ice carvings over here as well, like an eagle and it looks like a pig or something. Oh, no, it's actually a polar bear and an owl. Oh, it's a snow leopard because it's made of snow, but there are such things as snow leopard. It's a snow leopard, snow leopard. All right, this tree over here is now lit up. Also, just to clarify, no DJ on hand over here, but the Christmas tree has been. What is up, everybody? I am Sergeant Jingles. Nice Hi, to meet Sergeant you. Sergeant Jingles. Nice to meet you, folks. Yeah. How are you doing? We're good. Doing good. We're going to see Santa Claus today? Uh, we saw him a little bit earlier. Oh, yeah. Earlier. A little bit earlier. Yeah. Keeping well, my wish Kevin. list. Yeah, all on the nice list, right? I told him I was being good. I told him I was being good, but I'm really not. <laughs> Sometimes it's so soldiers, he always puts us on the night list. Oh, okay. Uh, we're just we'll, trying to do our jobs here. We'll put in a good it. word. Okay. <laughs> we'll put in a good word for you both. Yeah. Happy holidays and Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. Happy holidays. See you later. You yeah, meeting Santa with a Team Naughty shirt on, probably not going to go well. I mean, that at would least be, you're uh, honest. Well, it's just it's a clever shirt. It is. I mean, really, it's like it's opposite day. Well, it, it doesn't mean you're naughty. It's just you're pro. I'm pro, I'm team naughty. You're team naughty. The team, yeah, okay. <laughs> Santa would not like this shirt. That's maybe why he kept walking earlier. Oh, he was like, Oof. I see uh, gingerbread folk over here waving. It's a gingerbread house here at the North Pole. I'm also looking for a refill on my hot chocolate, but I can't find another refill station. Now there is a gingerbread house right up, oh, and something just up. Oh, something's honking. Okay, gonna make the, our way over now to the DC Universe area over here and also the little steam what do they call it, the glam punk gleam punk gleam punk which is like a steam okay steampunk with a play on words <laughs> again it's kind of windy you can see the leaves on that well it's kind of hard to tell but you can see the leaves on this tree how they are like kind of shifting around to and fro in the wind all lit up look at that yeah one thing i will say there are a lot of stilt walkers out tonight and the reindeer there but look there's like stilt walkers everywhere look at these like short king hello oh, short king all right <laughs> short king How's guys tonight going? so far so good wonderful wonderful you guys going on any rides we went on we went on one already Which what did one? we go on Which one? we went on west, west coast, coast races coast. yeah Ooh. Ooh. tall for that one We're tall yeah. for that yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We did. We I loved it. Stand out here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Happy yeah. holiday. Yeah. Oh, there's Santa's sleigh right over there too. They said they're too tall for the for that ride. I think that works with any. If you said any ride, they would say, they would use that same. They would say that same thing. I think they're just they're really tall. Yeah. This whole area through here is great. This section over here reminds me a little bit of Return to Oz. Yeah. Isn't this freaking cool? It kind of has like a Return to Oz vibe to it. A Christmassy holiday Return to Oz steampunk kind of gleam punk kind of vibe. Now, over in the D.C. area, definitely a cast of characters. A few stilt walkers. Very very windy over here. They have the ornaments all lit up. The illuminated uh, your Christmas lights decorating everything full on it's really a whole lot a whole heck of a lot of people I would say this is not the busiest I have seen in this place in fact I don't even I think there might even be more like team members than there are actual guests in the park but pretty good time though. I mean the weather probably has something to do with it and the, I don't know I'm not really sure exactly why but there's not really a whole lot of people here. yeah again I'm reminded of how when we did the drive-through through here a few years ago there was no one on this but they had it running with the lights on and my rental vehicle drove all the way up here up that direction kind of in that same area they had the light all the same lights you're seeing tonight but you just couldn't get out of the car 
you had to stay in the vehicle and drive all through the property. It was like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. I'll never get to do that again. All right, I wandered all around the park trying to find another refill for this and I couldn't find any except the place I bought it at. Did a full loop around the park and this is now closed. All right, the lights are great, cold. We're gonna start heading out. So yeah, Six Flags doing Six Flags things. Six Flags six being Six Flags. Six Flags doing Six, yeah, Six Flags being Six Flags. In a drive. All right, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna see if I can get, find something, more hot chocolate on the way out. But I have a feeling I'm not gonna probably find any more hot chocolate. I think, I think the refillable hot chocolate was a one and done. <laughs> Your unlimited was limited to one. Because the booths close one hour before the park closes, I which... I forgot about that. So it's like one hour before the park closes, now the booths are closed. And that was the only booth that had the refillable mug. <laughs> we we walked the entire freaking park. We did. We thought it was going to be up in the cabins yeah. and all there. I, unless I'm just missing something. <laughs> Either way, and it's super, super windy. It's so cool. Like you can see the, you see the wind blowing the tree down there. Oh, look at the little gingerbread man over here. Little gingerbread guy. Look at Yoshi up here and Mario. Look at this. Whipping around. That's how windy this is. Look how, look at this. They're like dancing. They're dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you cold? Oh, what? No, not it's at all. It's a little chilly. Not at all. So you were saying this is the most ride you've ever seen closed at Six Flags and all the times you've been coming here? Yep, I've never seen all of Ninja's like Hill clothes, like um, X2, all of them. And it's, it, yeah, it has nothing to do with Six Flags because of the weather. I mean, yeah, you can't you can't run the rides the in the weather. <laughs> yeah, you can try to shoot some hoops over there with some uh, the wind. <laughs> this thing hasn't ran in a long time, Superman. Right? Superman, yeah. Or Lux Luthor drop. Yeah, Lux Luthor drop. Goliath going. <laughs> Goliath's going. All right, it was a fun time. All right, making our way up towards the field. They have the spotlights on up here on the trees as well. Making our way up towards the front of the park for exit. Ooh, could this be a hot dog? I mean, hot dog, a hot chocolate stand on the way out? No, in fact, it was a churro stand, no coffee or, or uh, hot chocolate. As I was exiting, they have a lot of lights on the trees when you're kind of exiting out through the front little section. And as I was kind of just kind of glancing around trying to find the hot chocolate stand, I realized that the world famous funnel cake spot has hot chocolate so it was the only it was the second place in the entire park that i'd seen there might be some other little hidden gems in there but it was open it did not close an hour before the park did i was able to get a hot cocoa inside the world famous funnel cake place and on the way out the best gift shop ever like just like steaming with nostalgia <laughs> going through which is really cool i kind of like all the cast of characters at the end and then at the very end you got Superman standing up on the world platform which is pretty awesome. Woo! <laughs> All right. What's the, I don't even know what the temperature is but the wind chill. Negative like, a thousand. <laughs> with the wind chill it's negative a thousand. I don't even know if you can hear me but that's gonna do it for today. Oh! oh my gosh, so cold. Woo! All right I'll see you in the next video. Yeah it is cold. All right I'm just gonna end it here. See you in the next video. Vlog is over. It's brisk out here. It's gusty. on the windy side.